All right, y'all, we're back with another DM7 video. We're, we're going to call this a Wave Super Rack video, more likely. Um, what we're going to talk about is we got our vocals going into Super Rack. So now we're going to talk about how to set up scenes so you can change keys for different songs that are different keys and everything else like that. And you can do that pretty easily in Super Rack. So I'm going to go over how to do that if you're running tuning on your vocals. So... To verify, just as a little review, this is our DM7, and I know that my vocal is going out because I have this outboard here. So if I click on this outboard, I know that I'm going out my USB one and I'm coming back in USB one. So it's a nice round trip. I'm gonna and this is on, so I'm gonna be getting signal through Super Rack. So when I go to Super Rack, I've got a scene saved. Now, anytime I update things or I just pick the next number, it's just like an organizational thing. So I always know that the highest number is like my most recent. Um, so we're on JTAL 1 and I've got just like a basic vocal chain here. So I've got tuning on the first slot. I've got like an uh, cleanup EQ going. I've got some, uh, my first round of compression going. Let's get rid of this. I've got my second round of compression going and I've got some DSing going. And then what we want to do is we want to do tuning, but we don't want to recall different things. Like, I, you know, I might be in uh, tuning on one song and I might grab this compressor or my EQ and adjust something. And I just want that to like that adjustment to stay. So I don't want to be recalling every single plugin. Um, so to start, I'm going to go to show and I'm going to go to this snapshot. Usually it's on sessions. I'm going to go on snapshots. I'm just going to create new. I'm going to title this one. C. Now, I need one for every key, but we're just going to start with this here. And what I want to do is on my scope, I'm going to go none. So, or none. we got to press it twice and all these will go away. What I want is right now we're just doing one vocal, but if we're doing three vocals, I would select my three vocals. But for the sake of this video, I'm going to go one. So this is my channel one, which is my mic one. And I only want to recall the top plugin, which is my tuning plugin. I don't. I want to leave all these alone, so they'll just stay. Whatever adjustments I make will stay the same. Um, so I'm just recalling my tuning plugin. Okay. And now I'm going to go store. So now that'll store that way. So now we'll go new. And then we'll just kind of go around the circle here. We're going to go G. We're going to go D. And then I'll fast forward because you get it. All right, so I've got every single key in here. Now we're gonna jump back over to this overview. I'm gonna go here. And now I have everything set to major. How we do things is just like, even if it's like A minor, we just call that C major. I don't wanna get into relative majors and minors and theory in this, but uh, we do everything in major. So everything's gonna be set in major. I'm gonna go to my C and we have that correct. So now I'm gonna go to my next, I'm gonna recall D, G. And I'm going to change this to G. And now I'm going to go store snapshot. And then I'm going to recall D. I'm going to change this to D. I'm going to press store. So on and so forth. All right, now that we got all that done, we can just ver I'm going to go back and verify my work. So let's say C. We know it's in C. Good. I'm going to go G. I know it's in G. Sick. Uh, let's pick a random one, E flat um, and E flat. So we're good to go. I've got all that saved. I'm going to save my scene now, Command S. And uh, another tip here is what I like to do as well. I'm going to go down here and I'm going to press new. I'm going to call this one no tune. I like everything in caps, no tune. Uh, I'm going to drag this down here. I like this to be at the end. So on this here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and I'm going to pull this up. I'm going to pull that out and now I'm going to store. So when I'm in C, you'll see this thing come back on and you'll see I'm in C. And if I go to no tune, you'll see that this is out. So now like this is for like, if there's ever talking moments or anything else like that, they're going to be talking to the mic. I don't want any of the tuning to go through this way. There's no tuning going on or it like even in rehearsal, I'll just leave the tuning off so they can like really practice pitch and everything else like that. This is just like a kind of guardrails um, for when we're live. Now, this is how I do it in the church setting. So then every week what I can do is I can go over here to show and let's say we're doing three songs, one's in C one's in E flat, one's in B flat. All I have to do is just drag, I'll just drag this into my song two slot up here it should move and then my e flat up here 
boom. And then I'll just save. And now my show, I can just press into my next snapshot, next snapshot, next snapshot, and I'm changing to the proper keys. And then I'll just drag them based on my first key and my last key. And my no tune always stays on the bottom. Uh, and this will make sense in a bit. I set up a button to where I can always recall this no tune. And so it's got to stay at the bottom. It's got to stay number 13 so that it always recalls that. Now, on the road, uh, when I've been out with like Jordan Feliz or something, my setup's a little bit different. I don't do it like this because there might be, you know, let's say 12 songs in a set and I might have three songs that are in C. So what I'll actually do is I change the names. I'll do the name of the song dash the key it's in. And then I just do the set list. I just make the set list as my snapshots and then I can just go through my set list and anytime I know he's gonna be talking, I'll just put a no tune in the sections that he's gonna be talking in. So then I'm just recalling the next snapshot as we go down the show. So it's a little bit of a different setup, but in my church setting, this is what I do is I just drag my key up. And if it's two songs in the same key, then boom. And then if it's like, if I'm going C, B flat, E flat, um, I can just copy. I can go copy C and I can insert that after there. And now I have C happening again. Um, but usually that's pretty rare that that happens, but that's how I would solve that. And then what's happening is I'm recalling only this plugin and none of these other are, are uh, going on because sometimes I just make a quick adjustment. And if I have it recalling these, it's recalling where I saved it. And I don't want that. I just want to recall this. So how do I set up controlling these? Um, Cause you can absolutely navigate this menu and go see uh, and so on and so forth. But what I want to do is I want to do this on my board. So then I'm just pressing a button on my board. It's controlling super rack. I don't ever have to search for a mouse and look for where, uh, the cursor is or anything else like that. So we're going to jump back over to this DM seven I'm going to go over here to our user setup, user defined keys. And I'm going to pick a couple keys here like this right here. Let's call this our no tune. So I'm going to go, I want this to be MIDI. Uh, oh, there it is, MIDI, and I want it to be control change. We'll call that CC1, sure. And I'm gonna go edit label. I'm gonna change this to, we'll call this recall and then no tune. Okay, and let's make this blue. Okay, on this one, we're gonna make this a MIDI note. I'm going to make this CC2. It's got to be a different one. Here, good. And let's make this CC3. Here. Boom. Okay. Now we'll edit these labels. We're going to call this... I'm going to call this one previous. Uh, let's call a recall previous scene. We'll make it blue. And I'm going to call this one, yikes, recall next scene. Make it blue. Perfect. And then what I like to do is I like to make a start a show. Because uh, usually at the end of the show, I'm on my no tune and I want it the t very just cue the first one up when we're there. So I'm going to go to another bank here. I'm going to. Let's just pick this one. We'll go MIDI. We're going to go control change four. Okay. Edit label. We're going to call this guy recall scene one. Call it blue. Boom. And then we're good to go on all of these. Good. Now, to make this happen, what we're going to do is we're going to come over here to Super Rack Performer. I'm going to go over here to Setup. And down here at the bottom, I think we did this in our other video, but I'll just uh, do it again here. I'm going to I'm gonna pull up uh, MIDI Controller, and then I'll pull this up. Now, this is how I'm going to program it. So what I want to do here is some of the most of these buttons are already set up here. So what I'll do is I'll press my next snapshot and then I wanna press the button on the DM7 that we set up that says next scene. So I'll press that button and you'll see that pop up here. 
In this case, I'm just using my keyboard. I'm not at my DM7, but you'll see a program change show up there on my previous. I'm gonna press the previous scene button here, and then I need a no tune. We are gonna go user key. I wanna call this no tune. Okay, so now I'm gonna exit out of that. I'm gonna go over here to settings. Now, user key assignment. So we made user key one. We want this to be snapshot recall snapshot and we want it to be that no tune here boom and that's how we set that up all right so now i'm gonna if i go to overview all right it looks like i need to set up my this button to be another user so i'm gonna set it up as two and we're gonna um say it is top of show okay I'll exit out of this. Now I'll go to my settings. Number two, I'm going to recall snapshot one. Okay, now we're here. Okay, so I've got my no tune set up. I've got my top of show, and I've got my next to go down and back. And then it's a press of a button on the DM7 that'll navigate all that. Super easy, super simple, I love it. And then if you have multiple uh, microphones, you just set up the same way we just did. Just put Waves Tune on it, set it up for mic two, three, four, five, however many mics. And uh, then your snapshot, like recalling the snapshot will all be the same um, no matter what. It's just, you just have to save each snapshot with each key and then you're good to go. So that's how I set up tuning in multiple different keys and some tips on navigating that in the DM7. If you have any questions, as always, let me know in the comments. I will answer anything I can figure out and we'll talk to you guys next time. Thanks.